Hey guys, Nate Willis here. Welcome to a completely different kind of video. This video is going to be completely unedited. It's just going to be raw face cam footage. I'm in my room right now, and there are some things I need to talk to you guys about. I've been thinking about everything going on right now, and about YouTube for a little while, and I've made some decisions that I think are for the best. Don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube or anything like that. Let's just, let's get into this. Firstly, this is going to be kind of an update vlog, but also a, um, a venting vlog, and I do apologize about that. So I'm going to give the updates first, then the venting. For those of you, you know, there maybe some of you don't want to have to listen to me rant or vent. And I completely understand that. So let's go ahead and let's do the updates first. So for, I'm going to be doing a lot of changes to, to my channel. Now... Ugh, the footage is going to be a bit out of sync because that's the way my camera is. But what are these changes exactly? So, firstly, I'm going to be doing a lot less um, edited Let's Plays. I'll probably be doing a lot of Minecraft stuff. Um, because Minecraft is a game that you can record unedited raw videos of without, you know, without much trouble. But other games, it can get a lot more boring. To just, you know, do them without any editing. And I'm going to be doing a lot less edited Let's Plays. You'll probably still see them occasionally with stuff like the first three Silent Hill games. I've already finished the first one, but i got to finish actually editing that video. And I'll be doing Silent Hill 2 and then Silent Hill 3 and then a review of Silent Hill 4. Because I know that a lot of people aren't exactly fond of that game. It's kind of the one where a lot of you either hate it or love it. That's kind of the way the fan base is with that game. And because of that, I'll just be doing a review of it instead. Now, to make up for the lack of Let's Plays, because along with doing a lot of uncut Let's Plays, I'll probably just be doing less Let's Plays in general. And to make up for this, I'll be doing game reviews and other types of scripted content instead, most likely at least. Along with that, I'll be bringing back reaction videos, and I'll probably be... Uh, I'll be bringing back vlogs as well once summer rolls around, and I'll probably have some covers occasionally as well. I have like one, maybe two that I'm working on right now, and I'm also actually starting to write some completely original music using GarageBand actually on my school iPad here. Um, I have something pulled up right now, I'm debating whether or not I should show it to you guys. Um, obviously a lot of the instruments are just simulated instruments, but I do, if I move my camera a bit here, you can tell, um, if I can pan my camera at it, I'm not sure if you guys can see, I think my computer's in the way, um, okay, my cam I think my camera's facing it right now, I own an acoustic guitar, but I don't own an electric one or anything like that, just an acoustic, so all the electric guitar and drums and piano and crap like that would all be... Uh, simulated, but I kind of have ideas for like a Silent Hill related album, and one particular thing, uh, let me see if I can find it here, uh, I, I apologize about this, got to look through these and everything to try and find the, the, the thing, um, as you may or may not know, I'm not really that good at, uh, my acoustic guitar, um, but I guess I can show you a very small amount. Now it's probably not going to sound that good because it'll be picked up by the camera's microphone and everything. But I'll turn the volume down a little so it doesn't like, you know, overpower the the mic on the 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 phone. So here. You can hear some acoustic guitar in there, as well as the simulated electric guitar. Yeah, so... It's not that great, and it probably sounded really bad because of the mic and everything, but... It'll work. I'm still pretty new to the whole music scene, so yeah. One thing I did actually want to quickly mention is that um, I may or may not actually be using a, a chroma key background right now. Um, I wanted to test it out for a video, but 
this camera is not that good when it comes to that sort of thing. So it probably won't be in this video, but I mean, if you're seeing it in this video, then you're seeing it. So there's that, but you probably won't be. I'll probably be leaving this unedited except for the times when I pause the video and unpause it like this. So those are the updates to content. Now, what about the whole venting thing? Now, if you want to click off the video because maybe you don't like listening to venting, that's completely fine. Thank you for watching thus far. But, I'm really stressed out. Uh, everything going on with uh, the coronavirus right now doesn't help. But, the things I've been dealing with actually go all the way back to November. When, so, there will be certain details that I won't be sharing with you guys because they're personal and I would rather not share them over the internet. And obviously I'll be keeping the identities of certain people secret to respect their privacy. But, basically, a lot of this is involved with a specific girl uh, who I will be calling G because that's the first letter I thought of. And I don't, I'm too lazy to actually make up a name right now, so I'll just go with G. Um, but basically I was in a relationship with this person back in November. I had been for a while. We were actually a few months away from one year. But some things happened. Firstly, a little bit before that, my mom actually died. And for those of you who saw that video back in October, yeah. It really did not, I didn't handle it all that great. And it was kind of affecting my behavior. And because of this... I had kind of hurt her. I hadn't physically hurt her or anything like that, but I'd snapped at her uh, sometimes and everything. And The thing about her is that she's really sweet, she's really kind, she's caring. She's not one of those kinds of people who's sensitive and is just only cares about themselves and is toxic. She, no. She's sensitive, but she's also really sweet and kind and everything. And it hurt her. And frankly, I don't blame her. It's really not like me to snap or yell at someone who I'm, who I'm that close to. Uh, family doesn't count because, well, they're kind of, you know, family. No, if family is important and all, I'll be the first to admit that. But the thing about family is that you deal... I shouldn't say you have to deal with them your whole life, but you're with them pretty much your entire childhood, childhood and everything. You don't have the same kind of a bond that you have with... Like, people you're in a relationship with, or friends. And I know that there are probably a lot of people watching this who are going to be so offended by that, and think relationships are dumb, or aren't important, or blah 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 blah. Well, you know what? Screw you if you think that. Not really, actually. You have the right to think whatever the heck you want. And I'm not going to actually get on your case over that. But, uh, you know what? Again, if you don't want to listen to me vent about relationship troubles, go ahead and click off the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching thus far, though. Um, now, the thing about this was that... The fact that I had, you know, snapped at her and everything sometimes... Kind of... Was part of what ended up... Part of the reason for what ended up happening in November... When one of her friends... One of G's friends manipulated her into breaking up with me. Now, this fr particular friend was an ex of mine, actually... This friend, the relationship that I had had with that ex was very short because of the fact that this person was very toxic and manipulative. And she would manipulated uh, G into dumping me. Now, once the dust settled, uh, she tried to get back together with me, but for some reason, her parents decided to enforce the breakup, telling her she couldn't. Um, I think that they thought that, you know, I was not having an actual chance to grieve for mom and I needed to have time to get over it, get over it before I could get back together with her, you know, before it would be safe to. Now, the thing about that is that you don't get over it. And obviously that can also apply to things like breakups, but you don't get over the death of a loved one. You don't ever truly get over it. It stays with you your entire life. Even if you get distracted by it and everything and aren't affected as badly by it later on, you'd never truly get over it. And by now I'm at the point where I'm stable enough to get back with her. But her parents still 
won't let us because they feel a need to enforce it for like an entire year apparently or some dumb thing like that. Uh, I don't even know if G has actually told her parents that I'm in a more stable condition by now. Probably is scared to, I guess. I don't know. She's probably scared to bring it up. So, basically, she tried to get back with me in secret, but her parents found out and everything. They continued to enforce it. Um, we're talking about asking them if we can at least spend time together as friends, because if we don't, we'll just, you know, lose interest. And they say that they want to help me and that they're doing this to help me. And to make things better for her and I. But if... I mean, I think at this point that they actually are trying to help. But they're doing a horrible job of it. And that's the problem. Because their logic... They're not bad parents. They're just, you know, they're protective. But the thing about them is that their logic is flawed. And... I think that they think that G isn't actually being affected that much by it because she doesn't let it show around them. If it is affecting her, that is. She told me that herself, that she tries to hide it from them because she, think, they, she thinks that they'll... That, that if they know that she'll be... She thinks that if they know that it's affecting her, that they'll think that she's too devoted to the relationship. Because I guess maybe they're not 100% about her being in a relationship because they're so protective. And if they would just get over it and stop enforcing this and let us get back together, I wouldn't even be making this video right now. I wouldn't have to have been. I wouldn't be so stressed out. But it's not all about me, so, you know. And, okay, well, I did sound sarcastic saying that it is true. It's not all about me. But it would definitely take a lot of weight off of my shoulders. So that's... No, because of that, because of the fact that I haven't been able to see her at all, and we're, you know, I still have to wait and everything before we can get back together, I've been awfully depressed about it. And I know, ooh, if you can't wait to get back together with her, then you clearly are not mature enough for a relationship yet. Shut the hell up. Haven't you ever heard of being devoted to a relationship before? Being away from them is obviously going to be painful for you. That's simply how it works. And that's the way I am. I care too much about relationships. I'll admit it. And I'm sorry for sounding so aggressive. I really do apologize. I'm just so damn stressed out. And and I'm sure many of you are thinking something like, you should just, you know, get over her. You should just move on, find someone else. If it's going to take this long, it's not worth it. But I'm too devoted to her at this point to do that. Which, at this point, maybe that's a bad thing since I'm only 17. But I'm devoted to her and I want to fix things with her. And I don't want to be with, at least right now, I don't want to be with anyone else. And it's not like we don't talk or anything like that. We still talk all the time. And we still, like, try to show each other affection and everything as much as we can over text. She can't even call anymore because she never has time to... She's always busy with school work since we all have to do school from home now because of the pandemic. So, <clears throat> sorry, I really apologize. My throat's kind of hoarse right now. But we still say our I love yous and everything. It's not like we just don't talk or just, you know... We still love each other and everything, but basically we haven't been able to see each other at all and it's taking a bad toll on me. I'm usually depressed because of all of this and on top of that I never have any motivation to do anything and that includes editing videos, but that also includes schoolwork. And because of this I've been getting behind in my schoolwork and I'm starting to think that I need help at this point. I'm probably going to want to talk to my therapist about that, but on top of that, my sleeping parents have been all over the place, and I've... I just don't know. This is the reason why I wanted to do a whole... This... I'm really sorry, you guys. This, like I was trying to say, but I sputtered on my words, this 
is the reason you will probably be seeing a slowdown, I guess, on content, kind of a lack of content, until summer rolls around, because then I won't have to deal with school as much anymore, at least. But I don't know if I'll end up having to do, like, summer school or anything like that. And hopefully once summer rolls around, this whole thing will at least get better to the point where we're not all having to stay inside. And hopefully I'll start being able to actually spend time with G again. Which hopefully will ease a lot of the stress. With that out of the way, I apologize for all the venting. And if you guys have any suggestions, advice, anything like that, please leave it in the comments. I would really much appreciate it because I really need help. And... Thank you so much. You guys are all just amazing people. I'm really grateful to have, you know, you guys, my subscribers. Even though I only have, like, almost 400 of you, which still is actually quite a lot to me. But I know in the general scheme of YouTube followers, it's not a whole lot, but it's quite a lot to me. Although, out of the way, I... I doubt that there's any any way you guys really could have enjoyed this video. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is that this whole pseudo blue screen behind me, it's not really a blue screen, it's actually a blanket that's basically a shade of color that works really well with Chroma Key. I use it for my thumbnails, actually, and I wanted to test it out in a video to see how well it would work in a video, but it ended up not being this one because I didn't want to have to deal with editing this. Like I said, though, once summer rolls around, content should hopefully pick up again. The vlogs will be coming back as well, so that's really about it. Stay tuned for the Home Series Season 5, you guys, in summer. Uh, I'm not going to be finishing Doom Eternal. Um, or rather, I'll be finishing it, but in my own time. I'm not going to be finishing the Let's Play of it. I'll probably be, I'm, I'm probably going to review it or something like that, but I'll still finish Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, so don't worry about that. Minecraft, excuse me, Minecraft content will still be continuing. I have another Let's Play that I'll be starting with a friend of mine, and I'm probably going to finish up Dimensional, the, the Dimension Opera Challenge. I don't know how long that will take, to be fair, but I have one other series idea that I want to try out, but it'll be a little bit different than a usual Let's Play format. Anyways, I'm going to quickly cut off this video here before it gets close to 20 minutes. So yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.